What's up guys, Forrest Knight here, and I'm going to show you how I use the terminal window to push my iOS project onto GitHub. Now I'm assuming you already have a GitHub account, and I'm assuming that you already have your SSH, SSH key from your computer hooked up onto your GitHub account. Now if you don't, don't worry, I, I left a link down in the description box below, and it is to this website webpage right here. Adding a new SSH key to your GitHub account. Simple HTTP process, very self-explanatory. If you have any trouble with that, let me know. I We'll make a video if enough people ask for it, or I can just answer any problems you have in the comment section. So keep that in mind. But let's get started to this. So I'm also assuming that you have an iOS project already created, or else you have nothing to push. So I have an iOS project that I'm going to go to that directory right now using cd. cd is change directory. And I'm going to that directory. You can type in the first part of the uh, directory folder and then hit tab and it'll finish it for you. Then you can hit ls to see what's inside. And where is mine? Oh, all right, looks like I haven't made one yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project. Single view application, next. Let me just call this test. And I'm gonna save it right in where I was. Create, create Git repository on my Mac. I always have that checked. And then I'll just exit out of that. And let me re-hit ls and you'll see that now I have test here. So I'm going to change the directory into the first test directory because as you'll see after you have another test directory but also your Xcode project. You want to be in the first test directory, remember that. So what you want to do now is go on over to your GitHub account and create a new repository. And let me just call this test, why not? And then all my default settings are how you want it. Create repository because you're pushing into this repository. You're not going to pull anything and then re-push back or clone anything or anything like that. You're going to have the initial commit from your terminal window. So that's good. Now what we want to do is this right here. I have my handy dandy notebook right here, and you want to get in it. Get add dot dot really just adds everything that's in that directory. Then you want to get commit dash m and this is where you say something like initial commit or if you made a different change that's what you do so git commit initial commit and then git remote let me just copy and paste this right here keep in mind that right here isn't exactly what you're going to do of course you're not going to have forest knight on there repo url we're going to change and also another thing let me change that already. Another thing is, as you see right here where it says git plus ssh, that is there so whenever I re, you know, I push an update to that repository, I don't have to put in my username and password to my GitHub account every single time. This will just ask for it this first time, I believe, and then it goes from there. So let's do that. And let's git push origin master. And now it may ask, nope, it doesn't ask because I already have it set up because it already recognizes the SSH key on this computer is hooked up to that GitHub account. So now, as we go, come on over to test, we have this information in here. Good to go. And if you already have all that done and you want to update, you know, push again to that, what you want to do is pull it back if you are going to make any changes on the GitHub. But don't worry about that right now. If you're just going to work on the project on your uh, Mac, then what you want to do is the same exact process. Come to your directory, git add dot, and then you want to git commit. I'm just hitting the up arrow to go back. And initial commit to, that's not what I'd ever name it, but for this purposes. You'll notice that nothing to commit, working directory clean. If you changed it, then that will not say that. They'll have a, a a commit to commit to your GitHub repository because you made changes. And then you want to go ahead and git push origin master and you're good to go. And that's it. Very simple. I'll leave those uh, this over here down in the description box below. And I hope this helps you out. Until next time, have a good one.